guys okay as you can see I got a new background so now you can see I have hair it's not just a black blob that disappears on top of my head and my back back black background today's video is going to be a how-to video on how to contour your face to give your face more depth and dimension so if you'd like to learn how to do that just keep watching All right, first step you're gonna to wanna to do is put a moisturizer on. I like using the Clean and Clear um, uh, mattifying moisturizer, um, just cause it keeps my shine down and everything like that. So I've already done that. So the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is, I use two different uh, bases and they're in drastic different shades. Like this is my all over and this is the contouring. I'm going to be using. Um, they're both from Neutrogena, the Skin Clearing Formula, and one is in Soft Beige and the other one is in Honey Beige. These are my summer colors in the winter, which I think this might even be too light for me for this winter. Um, I have this one, and this is in Classic Ivory, and I mean here I'll even put them all next to each other so you can see. Like they range drastically, like this is winter, this is summer, and this is contouring. Um, except for in the winter, I would use this to contour with my foundation. So, first thing you're going to want to do is, um, I like using the Sony Kashuk um, blending sponge. Wet it down your best bet because when you uh, get the sponge wet, it's going to prevent all the foundation from soaking into the sponge and you're actually going to be able to get it on your face. So, get it wet, squeeze it out so all the excess water is out, but it still feels damp. And then we're going to take our soft beige, shake it up, and then I like to put it on the back of my hand just so it's not like on something or anything and your hand washes clean. So then we're going to put some of the foundation on the back of our hand. Taking the base of our sponge, we're just going to dab it in and get it on. And then using a stippling motion, you're going to start to cover your whole face. Alright, sometimes kind of smear it and smudge it in the right, like, curvy areas if I'm having trouble getting it. Now, because I'm Polish and do things backwards, um, one of the important steps, um, which you can do before or after, like, your first foundation, um, taking a concealer and just get some of your problem areas. So, I have a couple marks here, and then under my eyes I like to put it in above. Kind of look like I got like tribal art going. And then just taking, I just take my middle finger and again with a stippling motion, just kind of fade it out and around. And then this, oh well, you're going to. Just pat out. And then with the eyelid, I just rub it in. And then going back with your sponge, you should still have a little bit of product. You can just tap it to reblend. Now, for the contouring part of the foundation, you're going to take your Four Shades Darker foundation. This is the Honey Beige and shake it up and then again we're going to put some of it on the back of our hand obviously you're not going to need as much of this because we're not doing our whole face with this because that would be really scary because clearly we're not four shades darker than our skin tone um then again using your stippling or using your sponge we're going to take it i don't i use like the edge get a little bit and i put it on my eyelids this is also going to give you a nice tanner look and it's going to help contouring in your face. Obviously this is a contouring video. <laughs> okay, so you can do your eyelids and under your eyes. And then go down the bridge of your nose. And then taking a little bit more, you're going to want to go from here and right under where your cheekbone is. 
my cheekbones about here so I would contour here and then if you want to actually do more definition you can do it here now keep in mind you won't, don't want to put too heavy because obviously you don't want that blatant straight line so then just starting very lightly kind of give yourself a template in and then just start to work it again on the other side and then you can also take it and do a rolling motion if that's easier for you and then after you've gotten both sides done, you kind of have a little bit of product left, then you can go and follow up. Do it right here under your chin. And then just a hint of it right into your hairline because that's going to make it a little darker, make it look a little tanner. So that's it for the foundation. Now we're going to go in with our all-over powder. And I am using the Neutrogena Stupid light. Um, skin Clearing Mineral Powder. And this is in Soft Beige. And I'm just taking a e.l.f. total face brush, which looks like this, big and fluffy. Or you can use a kabuki brush. And then we're just going to kind of just wiggle it in, get it on so you can see the product. And just put it all over your face. And if you feel like you didn't get a lot of powder, you can go again and do the same step. I wouldn't do it more than twice because you don't want to put too much powder on your face. So now that we do the powder, next step we're going to do is taking a, this is a e.l.f. contouring brush, so it looks like that. I have, which is different than a blending brush, so that's the blending brush, so it's see how it's longer and everything, and then here I'll put the two together so you can see the difference. Um, you can get this at e.l.f.com for three dollars. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Neutrogena Healthy Skin uh, Custom Glow Brush and Bronzer Palette. This is in Rosy, go rosy Glow. And it's got a blush and bronzer in two. I take the bronzer and I take the contouring. And then I go and just follow in near your, where the bridge of your nose is and go down. And then just kind of bring it in because you're not going to want just a blatant dark line there. So here you can even see the difference between the two sides. This side's been slightly contoured. And then I just like to blend it down so it's not just a harsh line. And then you can also contour in here to give it a more rounded appearance if you like. And then I do right under here. And do it on the other side. And then you're going to put a little bit here. You can put some in on your lids. You're going to go for a natural look. Kind of thing where you just want to put a base on and you no know, makeup or whatever. Then following up with a bronzing brush, which is just an it looks like a, kind of like a blush brush, but it's cut on an angle. We're going to just take it and kind of dab it in. And then following down into here and just kind of work our way into that. And on this side. And this is going to slenderize the face and just give you more depth to your skin. And your, or not your skin, your facial structure. And then I can, you can blend it out with this. Go back under here and then taking this and again just follow through where you took the foundation darker kind of that whole doing with a liquid then setting with a powder trick so now you are nicely contoured obviously you don't want to just leave your face I mean if you don't wear blush you don't have to um, I like doing blush just because it kind of gives it a little healthy glow to your skin so I'm taking, this is a Mineral Science Radiance brush, it's just a big fluffy brush, and I'm using the rosy part of the palette. The, I'm going to get the color on, tap it off, and then I tend to, I smile, and then like where your cheeks get all puffy, you could put that there and kind of follow through, see like that. And it just gives you just a little bit on your cheeks, just kind of like a healthy glow. 
And then if you want, you can actually put a little bit right here and down your nose. Um, and if you're feeling like your this area is too white, you can after like you put all the powder in, it feels good. You have like a little bit left, you can just kind of go over so it's not as just your powder base. So there you have it. And that is how I, at least, contour my face. Um, yeah, that's how I contour my face. <laughs> so, so as you can see, here's our completed look. Uh, we've added more depth and dimension through our face. And yeah, not too bad, huh? Fairly easy to do it. So if you want to do me a favor and like the video, that'd be awesome. And if you want, add it to your favorites. And if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button up there so you can see all my future videos. So, hope I see you next video. Bye!